Welcome back Doom fans, Lazy Gamer here. In this video I am going to talk about tags and what they are about as well as their connections to the actions. This will not be a full examination of either and I am sure I am omitting many purposes for using tags. But this is just to give you the basic understanding of its usage. So let's get started. Now, as in the example shown, I will show you how that was done, but first a bit of uh, a general knowledge about tags and what they do. Uh, they are reference points for actions like shown here with our um, switch or lined of action that triggers this door sector here to raise and th something you should think about is keep track of your tags uh, at the very least, go to edit view used tags. This this is my custom shortcut, so uh, there will probably not be a shortcut for this in your in your uh, view. So let's go here. This shows every used tag. We have only used one. Now, it shows the tag for sectors, line depths, and things. And I believe you can use the one for each without them interfering with one another. But you know, you can also label the tags so you easily remember what they do when you have 500 tags in this list. So I suggest that you only use one tag for each action you use. So I am only going to use tag one for this sector. And I'm going to uh, make an explanation so I remember what that is a year from now. This is for rinsing door. Location. It can be as ex descriptive as you want it to be. Uh, of course, it will also, once again, if you hover over it, tell you what it does, but at least the tag it refers to. Likewise, if you in sector mode hover over the sector, it will make this line of yellow to indi indicate it has an association with it. But you, when you have plenty of tags, you might not easily find out what you are looking for. So edit view use tag and I suggest you select this or at least a shortcut to it so you can easily open it just by using the shortcut future lazy gamer here I just noticed something and um, in the tag statistics you can click on your um, tags and it will go to where 
they were in use, if you right click them, you will get the associated properties where you actually used it. So, uh, just uh, another thing to think about. Now, back to our scheduled program. So, that's in general what tags do. So let's go up and actually uh, show how it was done. Now, let's go to line def mode. And if you wanted to, you could just select every line def here. And this would work, but I want to be proficient and just select the line def where those uh, where the uh, sectors would be and let's give it an action of uh, door no let's let's use um, floor we need need to do this because normal doors only raise and we will lower by value this sector is 115 from the floor so I wanted to lower by 113 to have a lip of 1 and when player press use and it will stay there because we lowered it by value, we can't tell it to raise again. So I guess that's fine, right? Let's check it. No, that didn't do what we wanted it to do. Of, of course it didn't, because these are in... Um, this is just one sector which we raise. This is seven sectors. So, to make this work as shown, we will need to give this a tag. Now you could choose unused tag, and in this case it will give us a 2, because this is also sectors, but I would, unless you are certain about your tag numbers, you could just give it a 2. Let's choose new, and it will give us a 2. Okay, and we will have to do something more in line def mode when we select all these line devs again. I know. And we will give this a reference of two because that's the sector tag numbers we have. And now this should work as shown in the demonstration. Now, here, this is pretty much the same. In things mode, select the thing that we will pick up, or just right click, go to the action tag command. We don't need to give this a tag. We will need to give it an action. We will give it a door action, which is somewhere there. Door race. It will be a tag of three because we will give it that. Just trust me on that. We don't want to close again. 
and we wanted to race turbo fast. Can deselect that. Now go to sector mode, give this a tag of three, as we did before. We can tag lines in certain circumstances and and uh, things but uh, let's keep with tagging sectors for now and of course we will need an enemy in here just go to monsters and select the normal humble imp So it is ready for us. Now there is some options as to how it will behave. But we will come to those at a later date. So it might uh, will hear us probably when we enter, so we will hear the monsters, but of course it can't attack us behind here. That is a basic description of tags and uh, how it relates to actions, I think. <laughs> if you are confused, feel free to uh, ask questions in uh, in the comment section or on my discord channel i'm sure i or some other users might be helpful in the meantime this has been your host the lazy gamer logging off bye guys <laughs>